Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time. If you are new, we are back to watch another episode of Halo. This is season two, episode five. It is called Illyria. Last episode was probably, at least in my opinion, the best episode of the entire show, both season one and season two. Uh, it was the, uh, f the fall of Reach, and we had a lot of things happen. Uh, multiple characters died that you know, we weren't necessarily expecting to die, um, namely Captain Keys, who plays a, a, a large part in the first Halo game, so it's very interesting that they at least seemingly uh, killed him off in the previous episode, so I'm curious to see how they pivot from that, you know, if a different character kind of takes over uh, his storyline from that game, maybe his daughter, who knows, but We'll find out, I guess. Either way, I'm excited to jump into this episode, so before we do that, if you end up enjoying this reaction, please leave a like on the video, it means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. Then if you wanna see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships, uh, link down in the description below. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's watch another episode of Halo. Gotta get up, Chief. Vanek! Where's Vanek? Vanek's gone. Unless they can cryo freeze him. We can't stay here! We got take down where it's done! I know! We gotta fall back! Fall back to where? <laughs> it's just an open hole. Come on! Get me! I can fight! Moving! Is there a ship coming? Look at the moon. They're coming back. Are those transport ships coming back? Hey, you got them all. See like 20 <laughs> energy got? swords ignite. <laughs> They have a little bit more. You just had to say it, huh? Thought I should have said anything, but I said it. <laughs> and for his face. Is Riz about to die? I don't know why, but I feel like she's about to die. Who's piloting that? I did that. Quan, huh? That was me. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Is it Quan, huh? No way in hell. That's what? So basically, Quan, huh? Quan, ah, huh, let's go. Is she going for him? Yo, Riz. There's no way she gets him back to that ship, though. She carries his body. Riz, are you about to be the absolute GOAT right now? Let's go! I'm 
Unless they pull a platoon and she gets shot down right now. Please don't kill her right now. You're making this walk to the ship very long. I need her to make it. Oh, of course. So maybe Riz dies. Or maybe she's paralyzed. She got shot in the spine. They are gonna pick either one of them. They're picking him. Please. Please, will you help him? What are you prepared to do for me? Okay. They did put her on a little chip that they can put in his head later. Damn. What a intro. Glassing the planet just looks horrifying. Is that theoretically Cortana or a fake? Okay, so she's alive. Probably paralyzed though. Got weak legs, buddy. She shouldn't have gone back, friend. She knows better than that. You need to rest. Your wound is still healing. Is she gonna live? Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be, like, in a wheelchair. You told us where to go, what to think, who to kill, and we did that. Every time. Yeah. Without question. You followed orders, like soldiers. Like machines. You're not a machine. Oh. What am I, then? Don't That's take the question. Because real people have lives. Is that a woman or a weapon? Is there a person in there? Or is that just a piece of equipment that you leave on the battlefield, dump and forget? This is how a lot of fans, I feel like, feel about Chief. Where they're mad that he is being more humanized. They're like, Chief's just a badass in a suit. And they're being directly confronted with that storyline. <laughs> I could have stopped it. If I just had my armor, if she was with me. I summon you in the name of the higher arcs, voices of the gods. Next time, you can just push the little button there. What are you? I'm Cortana. Kind of a robot, but the not really a robot. Artificial no. What are you? To him. We work together. Where's Halsey? Take it easy. You've been out for three days. I tried contacting Is the that five total? Still nothing. Or three total? You stay with him at night. Every night. Okay. So they're not freezing his body. Good to know. So I think he is actually permanently dead. Where are you going? You need to talk to Halsey. You're not even going to look at him? He's your friend. This is a body. My friend isn't here. <sighs> Can't bring himself to look. Clear. Hold up. Are you coming? He's not gonna leave her. Come on. You're gonna freeze out here. Will he though? I mean, it's a beefcake. He probably radiates heat. Border Grim. Right here. 
This is him. Bodegrave. Where? A boy, ten years old. This is Castle. Okay, where is he? It's time. For what? To bury Vanek. No. What do you mean, no? If we left him lying under a sheet, we have to bury him. You don't bury a Spartan. Uh, okay. What do you do? The moment a person becomes a Spartan, their life in your world ends. They live in mine. Yeah. There are no burials. No funerals. They've already said goodbye. You have no idea what I'd give to she be able to bury her family? I'll bury him myself. It makes no difference. It does to me. You put them in the ground and you leave them there. Or they will follow you. That ground is going to be rock hard. <laughs> you don't really like dig in the ground when it's cold as hell. It's going to be like trying to shovel into concrete. Is that a wig? It is a wig. Give up the rich facade. Can she move her body? I was 14. We get shot, we get hurt, we get up, and you keep going. Again. That's all I know how to do. You won't be the soldier you once were. You are already diminished. You have to work harder. Or just not be a soldier anymore. Okay. Again, good luck shuffling into this concrete <laughs> of ground. Riz will live and she will fight again. Well, none of us are what we were. This was about control. About who dictates how this war is fought. I never got to bury anyone. My people, not my family. Somehow, those it people to be everyone that's gone. That are coming up to her. Berengoski's the one who took Cortana out. How did you choose? What, what, what do you mean? How did you choose me? King of the Hill. I didn't understand. Yes, you do. You know exactly what he's asking. We're not done here. Stay back! Come closer. I won't dig another hole! What are you doing? Hey, he's crazy. He's trying to take him. You can't put him in the ground. Why not? Get your hands hey, off him! Stop! What if it's not him? No, no, it's him. This isn't death. This is loss. There's a difference. There is a difference. Okay. Their kid better be here. Partly because they deserve to find their kid, but also because I don't want an entire storyline dedicated to finding him. <laughs> it's going to be a different little kid. What do you want? Good evening. What if, it, what if it's not Kessler? What if it's a different little boy? I was born in hell, raised in violence, being without a family, 
Without a home, without food, without protection. It's not going to be Kessler. I realized I can survive all that, but the loneliness. If anything was going to kill me, it would be that. So now I'm a father. It's not I him, is it? Fear. That's just a random kid. It's okay. Some kid got his helmet somehow. I know. In time, he'd find love here. But he's my son. Who the heck is this kid? What happened to Kessler? But they took him away. Who is they? His family buried him when he was six. They never knew him. Yeah, the Flash clone would have died. His name was Vanek. One, three, four. He was a Spartan. He was our brother. Everything that he was. Everything that he gave. He never dies. The fight is not done. I will be your weapon now. I will find the ones who caused your death. And I will end them. Does he mean the covenant there? Or is he actually talking about Ackerson and the others? He is going to be like a machine now. You can't run from this. This has been calling to you your whole life. This is what you're meant to do. You can take us to the halo. They can't let you live. <sighs> yeah. I'm already dead. Join us. What? Don't walk into the fire. <laughs> I speak for the planet. That's the lady that died in episode one. You're Quan Ha. Last of the Ha's. It's close now. The monster. Hey, where you are! Help me. Find me. Deliver me. Save me. Do not deny your purpose. Do not forsake your name. Leave me alone. Protect her. Is that going to unlock something in her? What the heck? What the heck is going on with Quan Ha? El Raskatan. Hanos Renisaha. Bulo Chawatoni. They're gonna kill her. Rip the Oh, Cortana is displaying the memory of the halo. Raja Eoin Scratchu. Jano in a traia. Hak a in a Eoni Jubat. Jangai Hata. Manipulate this guy.
you owe Cortana so big right now. Cortana did not want to fall into the hands of those at high charity. Can I help you? Oh, they're gonna beat your knees in, brother. <laughs> I don't think I understand. Of course you do. You had a mother, didn't you? You know, we got a lot of kids coming through here. I <laughs> oh, brother, you fucked up. Yeah, you're gonna want to tell her where he is. Say, what's your castle? The UNSC? Interesting. Why? You're gonna be I'm fine. I'm gonna stay here. Respect. Put your head in the game. This is My the game now. over, Chief. We lost Reach. You can't lose you, we too. Static. Kai. I know. Then what are you gonna do about it? I'm going to live. If you don't make peace with it, it will crush you. Yeah. I won't let it crush me. She's she's being the stronger individual here. You're all I have left. She's not coming. Halsey, you're not gonna convince her. <laughs> If Master Chief couldn't convince her, you're definitely not. Those are some thick ass dog tags. Okay, Kai. <clears throat> Onyx. I think that's the title of the next episode as well. Spartan 2s? Or Spartan 3s, I mean? Oh my gosh, freaking ending the episode. Okay, uh, another episode down. Um, this one, obviously not as like <laughs> uh, energetic and eventful as the last episode, but I still thought it was pretty good. This one is very much like the, like the, um, I don't know, how do I explain it? Um, not like the like the breath in before you go do something but like it's like it's the refresh episode right like the, it's it's the episode where you process what just happened the reflection episode right so we had the fall of reach all of last episode and then even right at the beginning of this episode we have a whole action sequence that is uh pretty pretty crazy and pretty uh intense and then we spend most of this episode um just dealing with the repercussions of like what just happened, right? So we have uh, we have Riz goes back for Vanek because you don't leave a Spartan behind. Uh, she goes and gets him uh, and they get on the ship, but she gets shot and injured pretty bad. Um, and so then that kind of kicks off this whole process for her, for John, for Halsey, um, for really everyone involved where they have to more deeply examine... Um, who they are individually, which is, I think, very interesting, especially given the larger conversation surrounding um, the show and the characters in general. Let's talk um, Riz first. So Riz, obviously she's hurt. Um, she's already been going through uh, some like therapy, I guess you could call it, um, you know, where, where Lewis and his husband both kind of already talked her through like the idea that she doesn't need to be a Spartan anymore. Uh, and that was bef like when with her previous injury. Now she's injured even more so. So it's like, okay, even, even to a higher degree, she does not need to be a Spartan anymore. And it's just a very interesting process because Halsey, 
Halsey's talking to her and she's like, you'll just have to, you'll have to work harder, right? Halsey still sees her as, um, as a Spartan, as, as a tool, not necessarily as an individual with like feelings. Like she, I mean, she may like conceptually understand that Riz has feelings, but like when she looks at her, she doesn't see the person behind the eyes. She just sees the outside. Um, I think the only one that she actually can kind of see more of is, is John, but even still, like, all these Spartans are not, like, actual people to her, uh, which is, it's, it's, she's a horrible person, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Riz, she's, like, figuring out who she, who she is, and, um, she's seeing you know these people build a life on this planet and and do their best to like eke out uh any sort of like survival and living there and she sees them still happy and and having you know joy in their life and she's like you know what i think my fight's done she had been going so hard with her previous injury to try and like prove something or try and keep up because she felt like she owed them. And now she's more accepting that she can let that pain go and she can, uh, she can decompress. She can start a new journey where she's not a Spartan. And I think that's good. I think that's nice. She gives John a little therapy as well. His, his, um, his story in this episode and in the larger grand scheme is very, very interesting. And it kind of directly touches on a lot of the conversation that I have seen surrounding this show and the character of Master Chief in this show and in the games in particular. A lot of people <laughs> that have issues with this show, um, some of the main issues they have is the humanization of the Spartans, particularly Master Chief, right? They're mad that Master Chief is, you know, out of his suit, out of his helmet, that he's a, like an actual guy, and, you know, that he has thoughts and has feelings and, and gets emotional sometimes. Like, they're upset about all this because in the games, Master Chief is literally... Um, I mean, he keeps it. He keeps the suit on for most of the, t pretty much the whole time in the games. Like you never really see him outside of the suit. Um, and for the most part, when you're controlling the Master Chief, he is not like a character that's having emotions. He is just a, a soldier. He is a robot essentially that shoots and kills Covenant. For the first like one or two games, that is literally like the whole purpose of Master Chief. Master Chief. Uh, was meant to be like an avatar for the player. That's why he never takes his helmet off <laughs> because you are essentially Master Chief. Master Chief was like not really a full-fledged character. Um, like the, even the, like the, the story itself existed, but Master Chief, he, it, it was interesting because he was like halfway an actual character in the story and then halfway like you are the character, he's an avatar for you playing the game. Um, and that is a huge reason why he never took his helmet off in the games is because it's it's not meant to be like a personalized individual. Like, you know, it is what it is. And then as the games went on, they developed his personality more and more and more as they went on. Um, and so it's just very interesting because from the get-go in this show, they are um, giving him humanity. They're they're showing him feel things. And people are mad because they're like, that's not like the games. The Master Chief never, you know, cried in the games. He never did this in the games. It's like, yeah, because in the games, he wasn't an actual person. <laughs> like, and that's okay that they're humanizing him, right? Like, that's, that's a, a fine thing for them to do. And it's just very interesting because then this, even directly in this episode, they kind of address that a little bit where he's talking to Halsey and he's like, am I a person or am I a machine? Like, like what, what am I? Because everything I've done so far is like machine and I need to like, how do I proceed through this? Like, what do I do? And it's interesting because he 
he expresses these thoughts to Halsey, right? He expresses these concerns to Halsey. Like, his internal feelings about how he feels like a machine and a robot, and he doesn't want to feel like that. He wants to be a real person. You know, he laments the fact that other people have lives and have families and all these things that he can't have because he is the Master Chief. He is a Spartan. But then when he interacts with other people, like Riz or or Quan Ha or, or really anyone else, he is then back on the flip side where he's like, no, we keep going. We do uh, our job because that's what we are. We're Spartans. Like, <laughs> like so he... It's an interesting moment of vulnerability and taking off the mask, you know, not physically, but metaphorically when he's talking to Halsey because he's like, can tell her how he's actually feeling. But then with everyone else, he's like, no, like we, we keep going. He has the mask firmly on. Um, Quan Ha uh, has moments with him where she's like, dude, like we got to bury him. Like you're not even going to look at him. Like he, he died. This is your friend. <laughs> And, uh, you know, he, he, he gives her an interesting response where he's like, that's not my friend. My friend is gone. And then his talk with Riz where Riz is like, you're like, you're trying to run away from your pain. You need to feel it. Like you need to actually feel your pain and you know, you might carry it with you for a while, but eventually you have to set that down and let it go. And I think... I think that is a very interesting um, storyline for the Master Chief and he, he, discovering who he is and, and you know what he what that what his humanity means to him uh, as well as the the rest of the galaxy I don't know but I thought it was very interesting I thought it was good and then um, uh, uh, ooh let's talk about Quan Ha's like vision quest thing <laughs> so we uh, at the end of last season, we had all, a lot of these, like, interesting storylines brought up with Quan Ha, how she's, like, a protector of planets, or, like, at, at least protector of her planet. Um, this vision quest kind of made it seem like she's not just a protector of her planet, but, like, a protector of planets in general, and I don't know what the fuck is happening <laughs> with Quan Ha. <laughs> like she she's presented with a vision of she's presented with a vision of the lady from episode one that you know the lady that um willingly like walked into lava <laughs> and, and told master chief to find his faith she's presented with a vision of that lady and she, that lady is like i am all the planets essentially like i am magical i am reach i am all these planets like you are the protector, you will save us. Like, what? I don't know what the frick is happening <laughs> with that storyline. And I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Quan Ha, like, I don't dislike Quan Ha, and I don't necessarily dislike the storyline. I just don't know if it, like, fits with the, <laughs> the overall story that they're telling. Like, everything else seems to fit very well within itself. Um, and, and, and in the Halo story, and then it just kind of feels like there's this extra storyline of Quan Ha that they're trying to, like, put in there, and I kind of wish they would just, like, not, <laughs> right? Like, I think they, that, that was one thing they probably should have realized about season one, is they probably should have been like, hey, you know, people don't really like this storyline, it doesn't seem to mix and gel with the rest of what we're doing you know unless they're playing the just like a super long game with this like if this is just like the longest arc <laughs> possible and they're like slowly and slowly and slowly building it up until there's like a payoff eventually um i can maybe understand that but if you do it too slow <laughs> like it's not satisfying um, and so that, I think that might be my only complaint is that they're really pushing hard, uh, into the Quan Ha storyline. And, and I, I, I'm willing to see where it goes, but I'm still not like, I didn't love it last season. Still don't love it this season. Um, one thing that I'm curious about that I didn't love last season is Maquis. Um, 
I haven't really, she hasn't been on screen enough this season to, like, for me to have a, like, huge opinion about what's happening with her. Um, she's working with the current Arbiter, um, who's, like, his, his current mission is to kill the Master Chief, and he failed, uh, at that. And now, Maki is essentially convincing him that he needs to lead them to the Halo. And I'm, I'm curious to see, like, what's gonna go on with that. I think I just need to see more of what's going on. Right now, they also have Cortana, uh, with them, and Cortana, Cortana can kind of save Maki's butt. Uh, granted, it was a, also an act of self-preservation. She doesn't want to go to the Covenant higher-ups either. Um, so she's like, I'm going to show you this vision real quick. <laughs> I'm going to project the the halo uh, to the current Arbiter, and he's going to have his mind blown. Um, but So they are, like, leaving high charity. They're, like, maybe on the run. I don't know. Um, I'm curious to see where that's going to go. Uh, I think those are the two storylines where I'm... I guess maybe there's three storylines. <laughs> three storylines that I'm not, like, stoked upon. Right? Like, um, Quan Ha's storyline, Maki's storyline, and then Soren and his wife trying to find their kid. I kind of wish they would have just found him. <laughs> well, actually, they threw an inter interesting wrinkle in at the end of, of that storyline, where for the most of it, like, the most duration of that storyline I was like I don't really care <laughs> about you know Soren and his wife trying to find Kessler like that is not it, it doesn't like it it's not like that it's bad it's just like it doesn't matter <laughs> in the grand scheme of this story it doesn't matter um and so I was hoping that they would have found him but then when they threw in the interesting wrinkle of that he was taken by the UNSC I'm curious to see, like, how that's going to tie in. Like, why does the UNSC want him? It, like, is it to keep Soren under control? Is it to, you know, like, blackmail him into doing stuff? Is it... I don't know. Are they trying to make him a Spartan 4? <laughs> I don't know. There's uh, plenty of possibilities. But um, I guess we'll see where that one goes as well. There's various, various storylines in this episode where I'm just kind of like, you know what? I'm going to wait to see what happens. Right now, I'm not too high on those particular storylines, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Next episode is gonna, looks like it's gonna be very interesting because uh, the Master Chief and Soren are attacking a UNSC base, which is bonkers. <laughs> like, uh, he's, Chief is kind of in revenge mode right now. He's, he's got a vendetta um, against Ackerson and Perengofsky. Right, during Vanek's funeral, he says, you know, I'm going to find who's responsible for your death and I'm going to make them pay, essentially. And he's not talking about the Covenant in that scene. He's talking about the UNSC, which is very interesting. It's a it's an interesting um, storyline of Master Chief going rogue because I think they they covered that in... wasn't Halo 4, was it? or is, It was either Halo 4 or 5. Um, the, the whole storyline of, like, the UNSC versus Master Chief, um, where they think he's, like, essentially going rogue, and there's, like, a whole other Spartan that's, like, tasked to, like, take him down. Um, I wonder how many elements of maybe that they'll factor into this. Who knows? I don't know. Um, presumably he's going to get Cortana, because she talked to him in the preview, like she physically talked to him, maybe she's still in his head somehow, um, and he needs the chip to like make her fully work, but I don't 100% know, <laughs> but he's gonna touch the artifact. Um, Soren is with him because he probably wants to find his kid. He's like, where the fuck is he? Like, why did you take my child? Doesn't really make sense. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's lots of interesting possibilities um kai is training or at least in charge of um the spartan threes which is a very interesting uh development we knew ackerson was developing spartan threes you know he hates the spartan twos and he wants his own program to succeed that's part of the reason why he took the suits i'm curious to see how kai is going to 
deal with everything. Like, she's going to have some maybe, you know, mixed loyalties in this situation between uh, Chief and Ackerson, especially when she sees Chief, like, assaulting a base. <laughs> that is, uh, I don't, they're going to, maybe they'll call in Kai to try and stop him. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Th yeah, like I said, this episode was very much like the, the take a breath episode, right? We've been fighting for an episode and a, and a, and a, and a tenth, right, right, you know, <laughs> fall of reach and then ten minutes into the, this episode. We've been going so hard, now we need to just take a beat, you know, refresh, reset, and then go again for the remaining episodes of the season. I think there's only eight episodes in this season. Um, so this was episode, what, five? So uh, six, seven, and eight, three episodes left, I think. Yeah, there's only eight episodes total this season. So we are, uh, we, we re reset, we refreshed, and now we're gonna uh, charge hard um, through the finish. The next episode is called Onyx, which is very interesting, if you know what that means. And then I think the final episode is called Halo. So I presume that by the end of the season, we will find the Halo ring. And I'm very curious to see, you know, what the what the freaking deal is. And, and maybe, maybe, maybe uh, by the end of the season, we see the flood. That would be a fun possibility. I don't know. Um, I think that's all I got to say about this episode. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Um, I'm very curious to see how you guys feel about this episode. Other than that, uh, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. It helps my channel grow. Uh, if you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But I think that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.